In this module, we will cover troubleshooting and debugging. Resetting the expert password on a locally managed gateway, there are two options for that. Option one is to connect through expert mode, access this directory right here, and delete the expert underscore pass file. Second option is for when expert is the default shell, and then you can just do the same procedure but over an SCP connection. So you can use WinSCP, for example, it's very easy. On a centrally managed appliance, you can use the CPRID underscore util and delete the expert underscore pass file. Here are some key processes. So when something doesn't work, you want to make sure that these processes are up and functioning properly. And if not, you would like to debug those processes. Starting with the watchdog, it launches and monitors all other critical processes. So if a process is down, watchdog will bring it back up. CPD uses port 1891. It is used for many services such as installing and fetching policies. FWD is used for logging and uh, VPND that is used for IPsec VPN. You can refer to these SKs for further information. Here are some basic commands for troubleshooting. So if you want to check enforcement on a local managed gateway, you can run the config log underscore status command. If you want to change the default shell on appliance, you need to run this command, the bash user space on. If you want to check some of the core logs, you will you would like to go and visit this folder right here, the slash logs folder. Check load per CPU core, you can run the mpstat command. Check the number of connections and memory with fwctlpsstat. Check memory and a lot more information with the vmstat command. You can display the file system usage with the df command. And you can mount SD card or USB with the mount command. If you want to run CP info, you can either run it through the web UI or through the actual CLI. You can still run the messages. And if you want to check the policy status, you can just run FWstat. So here are some of the most common log files. So large ping, if it's over 1000 bytes, it will not pass the gateway. We can see the log here. And from the SMB Web UI, I can go all the way down here to troubleshooting. So here I can go to monitor system resources and have a live map with nice timelines. I can display the routing table. I can test cloud services ports to verify that the appliance could connect to any cloud services. The CP info, so as I mentioned, you can just generate it straight from here. If you want to check connectivity using a ping, you can do it here. You can even do a trace route. You can perform a DNS lookup to make sure that you do have a DNS server functioning. And if you want to run a packet capture, you can also run it through this web interface as well. If you want to download the driver for a USB-C console, you can do it, download it straight from here. And under support, we have some contact information and some and some downloads are available as well for a local manual or again the Windows driver for USB-C. This concludes this module.